guys enjoy the look that I decided to do for you today. I went for a very gold, um, kind of bronzy look for the eyes today. All brown shades, brown eyeliner, brown eyeshadow. So I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. Um, I kind of feel like it makes the green eyes really kind of pop. Um, but I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, so today we're going to start out with our Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. This one is definitely not a new palette, but it is, a, I guess, an oldie and a goodie. Um, but we're going to start off with the shade Tease right here. Um, this is one of my favorite palettes, um, probably my favorite Naked palette. Um, but I'm going to start off with the shade here. And we're going to use just a um, blending brush. And this is my favorite blending brush. It is the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And we're just going to start this one right here in our crease. And we're just going to really blend this into our upper crease area. And um, you could use a crease brush for this, but I just want to make sure that it's really blended um, well. So we're just going to start out with a blending brush. It works um, I'm not really going in for a very defined look, so this works out well for me today. Then after that, we're going to take our Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour um, Eyeshadow. This is the one Bad to the Bronze. It is my favorite one of these. Um, actually, it's the only one I own, so I guess it would be my favorite. Um, but out of all the colors, this is the one that really caught my eye, and I actually need to purchase some other ones. Um, I have tried one of the stick ones, and I really didn't like it. I really like the one that's in the pot like this. Um, so I'm going to be applying this one directly onto my lid with my finger. I'm not going to be using a brush because I'm going to be using this as a base today. Um, you can use it with a brush as well as like an eyeshadow but these work really well for a base like a primer and that's how I'm going to be using it today. This is going to be a very simple just easy three step um, eye look. Then we're going in with a Makeup Geek product and we're going to be applying this. This is their pigment in Poker Face. Um, I love Makeup Geek products. I'm actually wearing the blush today um, that I got in the BoxyCharm, which will be in my last video um, if you want to check that out. And this pigment is just very pretty. It's very bronzy. I'm going to be applying this with just a very flat um, brush. It is my Revolution BX80 brush by Royal & Lincoln. I'm just going to put a little bit in the lid of this and then applying it directly onto that base that we just applied. Just to give it a little bit more of a gold um, bronze look. And you can pack this on however lightly or as heavily as you want. Today I'm going to go pretty heavy with it. And also with applying that bronze base underneath, if this doesn't cover every um, part of your lid, it's not a huge deal just because that bronze base isn't going to shine through as much as like your normal lid color would or if you applied like a white underneath or something like that you would really be able to see oh hey I missed a spot whereas with the bronze underneath this it's not going to show up as much you're not going to notice it so and also that bronze the bad to the bronze really helps eye shadow sh eye shadows sit and really holds them and makes them last longer as well so it's really a great two purpose product um, and I really really like it and it's very inexpensive it's a drugstore product so to me it's just an amazing product for especially since you can get two uses out of it and we're going to bring some on the inner corner of our eyes as well now, I have already applied my other makeup, so I probably should have been a little bit more careful with this just because I did get a lot of fallout, um, but we had, I had applied a powder, so I can just wipe it away, so we're okay. Then I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and just blend the two differences out between these shadows and make sure that there's no harsh lines. Then we're going to go back in with the shade Tease, and we're going to bring that down on our bottom lash line. Then we're going to go in with my favorite shade from this entire Naked 2 palette, which is Foxy. It's the most simplest shade in this palette, but it is great for highlighting that brow bone. Um, and we're just, that's what we're going to do with it. We're going to highlight our brow bone. 
then moving on to our um, eyebrows, I'm going to go in with, I've already used an eye pencil, but I'm going to set them with the clear brow gel. Um, and I actually just got this in my BoxyCharm as well, so you can check that video out. Um, it'll be the one up before this. Um, but I actually really like this. This is, will be my third time of using this brow gel. Um, it does really set my brows. It's very, um, an intense brow gel for sure. They kind of feel like um, cement on afterwards so I really do like this um, it is if you do like your brows to feel like hey they can kind of move afterwards though you might not like this um, but if you want them to really be set and not move afterwards this brow gel is definitely for you um, it's also water resistant um, I haven't had any problems noticing um, them moving throughout the day or it feeling like um, it's sweating off or anything like that but I've not really been swimming or anything to really test that water resistant part of it um, but I will let you know if I notice that not working I'm going to touch this up right here. Then I'm going with another product that I got in my BoxyCharm this month, and it's the Double Ended um, Eyeliner by Pure Minerals. I'll be using both ends today. First, I'm going in with this side in my waterline. the felt tip pen liner and we're going to be using this to do our top um, eyeliner and I'm going to be doing just a small wing today with this as well. decided I want to go a little bit darker on the bottom so I'm going to take some busted from the Naked 2 palette and we're going to darken up that bottom lash line and I'm going to be taking an eyeliner brush to do this just very close to the bottom and then I apply our lights camera flashes tarts mascara Today we're going in with the Model Co. Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Maybe Illusion. I think I might have torn the shade off. We're going to apply this all over our lip. I'm going to totally fill in on my lips with this. Then I'm going in with a lip gloss, and this is by Stilla, and this is in the shade Mango. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I decided to do for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little easy, somewhat easy eye look that I decided to do. Um, just simple little three step eyeshadow look. And I hope you guys will check back for more videos. Um, please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to like that, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.